Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Um, when I was successful in gaining this adjournment debate for livestock worrying, I was questioned by some of my more metropolitan colleagues <laughs> about exactly what livestock worrying is, with many references about sheep and whales, which I thought was rather unfair. So I can inform the House and colleagues that livestock worrying usually involves dogs chasing and mauling sheep or other animals. The direct attack can cause death or severe in in injury and, in some cases, miscarriage. The stress of the event can cause great harm to the animals, particularly to the young. I think it is important to put on record maybe why I have brought this uh, debate. Uh, not only is sheep worrying in Sussex uh, one of the highest um, uh, um, amounts of sheep worrying that happen in the country, but my authority, Brighton & Hove, has a municipal um, sheep flock, of which I believe um, the Honourable Member for Lewis is a shepherdess and looker on behalf of, um, and uh, Telscombe, the village uh, also in my constituency, has a municipal sheep flock. So the sheep business is not just in um, private hands, it is in public hands, private hands, all hands, and it affects us all. It is also important to put on record... Um, Yes, I'll give away. I'm, I'm, giving away. I'm not standing up to make an impassioned call for the nationalisation of all sheep farming. You'll be pleased to hear. Or maybe he wouldn't be. Um, I, I would congratulate them on getting this uh, debate. He's raised an important point that there is more sheep worrying and livestock worrying in, uh, in, in Sussex, where both his and my constituents have the opportunity to walk into open countryside. There's more sheep worrying going on there in the average year than there is in the whole of Scotland. That's not an acceptable situation. I'm glad he's got this debate to raise the concerns of many of our farmers. I totally agree with the Honourable Member. It is also important to put on record um, the contribution that farming makes not only in Sussex but to our wider economy. I will do. Way and and, and uh, declaring interest as a member of the Ulster Farmers Union uh, back in Northern Ireland, uh, bearing in mind that livestock worrying costs some £1.6 million pound to the farming community per year, and with 60% of dog walkers in Northern Ireland, for instance, letting their dogs off the lead in the countryside, does the owner member agree that more needs to be done to educate dog owners to understand that complete responsibility is at their feet and that their dog could be put down if it worries sheep or animals? I, I, I do, and I will come on to some questions and points that uh, um, the National Farmers Union, my local farmers, um, have, uh, have presented to me, and I know have presented to a number of other members in this house. Yes, I'll give away. He's being very generous, and uh, he's also very brave, as a mostly uh, an urban uh, MP, and, and none of us have suggested it's the residents of Brighton worrying the livestock around um, Sussex. But will he agree with, uh, with me, and I'm sure he will, in the Take the Lead campaign, which many of us got involved with uh, recently, and given that we've had something like uh, 600 animals being killed by dogs in Sussex in the last four years or so, the default position must be that dog owners put their dogs on a lead when around livestock and they absolutely need to be educated and if they don't, measures need to be taken. I, I totally agree. We need to do education and we need to be able to enforce the requirement of dogs on leashes where there is livestock in, um, in fields. And when they don't abide uh, by that, uh, there needs to be punishment to deter uh, others uh, doing the same. Farming overall contributes over £140 million to Sussex's economy, and 8,500 people are permanently employed in this, as well as, of course, thousands of seasonal workers. Um, and Sussex's natural beauty is, of course, something that we want to preserve. But the proximity to London and, of course, Brighton as uh, hubs for tourism also means that it provides easy access for dog walkers um, and others who are enjoying our countryside. And where farmers look after 62% of the countryside, 
They manage public footpaths going through its land. It is therefore so, invital, uh, so vital that we establish measures to ensure both livestock and dogs are kept safe. Because, of course, we know that the end result of an attack can be also the shooting of a dog if it is found in mid-attack. And so we also want to protect the dogs in this situation. And owners have a responsibility to ensure their dogs are kept safe. And that's how we also need to frame this debate for dog owners. I will do. Yes. I thank the Honourable Gentleman. And he kindly mentioned to me I declare an interest as an urban shepherd in Brighton and Hove. And I think uh, many dog owners don't realise the damage that they're, and they think their dog won't attack a sheep. And actually, to cause a uh, sheep worrying, a dog doesn't actually have to physically attack a sheep. Just chasing a sheep will be enough to cause a miscarriage or actually even a death of a sheep, as they're, they're likely to have heart attacks uh, very easily as well. So I thank you for raising this debate. I, I totally agree with the Honourable Member. And the difficulty is most dog owners. Um, that I speak to will say, oh, no, but my dog is perfect, he's a saint or she's a beauty, they do nothing to harm anyone. But the reality is dogs are animals too, and they have uh, um, urges to play with other animals, and they think that the sheep are enjoying being chased around many of the times. It's not necessarily from a malicious, it sometimes maybe is, from the motivation of the dog. And so dog owners need to understand uh, the, the, the effect of letting uh, dogs off uh, leashes um, when there is livestock around. We need to make sure that this is um, treated as a recordable crime. Dog owners must be given consistent information and act accordingly. Farmers must report all instances and the police must take them seriously. Livestock worrying is one of the greatest problems affecting farms in Sussex. We've already heard over 130 cases a year, greater than Scotland. I, I will do, Don. Thank you for giving way. You've been very gracious and very generous in that. But uh, at this time of the year, in particular in springtime, whenever sheep are in lamb, there's a greater onus upon the dog owners to keep control of their dogs even more than usual because by the dogs chasing the, the, the ewes in the field, ultimately they could abort the, the lambs as well. And so that, therefore, the onus is greatly upon the, the, the dog owner, even more so in springtime whenever lambs are, are due to be born. I, 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 to I totally agree. And there are some protections already there. Uh, but they are too weak, um, particularly around this time of the year. Over the last couple of years in Sussex, we've experienced some particularly bad uh, dog attacks, including, of course, the infamous incident um, in my honourable friend's uh, constituency uh, in Chichester, uh, where um, 116 sheep were attacked, or another incident where sheep were driven off Beachy Head in 2015 by dogs. Uh, the region, of course, is heavily populated, and combined with this grazing landscape, it means that these conflicts tend to occur more regularly than elsewhere. Since September 2013, there has been 497 recorded cases of livestock worry, but this is only the pinnacle of it, because many farmers do not report. They do not believe the police will follow up and do anything, and therefore, we believe this number is probably much higher. The blight of livestock worrying in Sussex has cost farmers £66,000 in financial losses for the recorded amount only. And the loss in terms, of, so, and, and the fines have only added up to 2224 there seems to be an imparity here about the punishment and the loss of our farms. Uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, we are also, I'm also acutely aware of the number of reported cases um, from, uh, from dog owners themselves is incredibly low. And one of the things that we could do is put the requirement on dog owners to self-report when their dogs do things wrong. I would like to know from the Minister what plans there are to support the police to take action against offenders and prosecute appropriately with repeat offenders. What plans his department has made to ensure farms can report attacks more easily and improve signage and information on farms. 
Despite the tendency of the law to back the livestock keeper, the problem is constantly getting worse and there are very few prosecutions. Public education, as we have heard, plays a huge role, as does getting a number of successful prosecutions which can be publicised as a warning to less responsible dog owners. On that matter? I will give way, yes. I'm grateful he's been very generous with his time. Does he agree with me also, as my constituency lies in Scotland and has been addressed as a note, this is a UK-wide mm -hmm. problem and that the effect on individual farmers is enormous and often missed in the statistics. These farmers take great care of their sheep and the financial loss is huge, but also the loss to the structure of the flock is enormous as well. I, I totally agree. This, I am raising this as a Sussex issue because of the high numbers and, of course, being a Sussex Member of Parliament, but this is a wide issue across the country where we have flocks particularly that roam near urban uh, areas or where there are towns nearby. Um, so will the Minister consider an effective public education campaign, building on some of the campaigns that have already uh, been coordinated, to make sure dog owners in urban areas, as well as rural areas, understand this as an important issue? Um, some have called for the Minister to consider developing a dog DNA and DNA testing to help identify dogs. Now, whilst I think that might be going a little bit too far, it might be interesting to know what forensic kind of detail the, 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 the department is thinking about uh, um, uh, employing to track down the people who, uh, um, who, who commit this. And will the Minister consider changing the law, of course, so dog owners have the legal obligation to report livestock attacks. Ultimately, it must be stressed that the number one job of our farmers is to produce safe, sustainable and traceable food for our communities and our country. They can only do this if they are able to farm safely and profitably. And livestock worry is seriously affecting their ability to do so. For small farmers in particular, livestock worry is devastating because of the huge impact of their productivity and it can set them back many, many months. This problem is entirely preventable. If there were simply enough awareness of the issue, if we were able to enforce legally uh, a leashing requirement of um, dogs in fields with livestock, and if we were able to make sure the police dealt with this effectively, we might be able to stamp this out and support our farming communities. Thank you, Madam Deputy yeah, Speaker. Yeah.